Good news, friends. New car inventory is at its highest point in nearly two years, and here it's just April. And there are signs the used car market is slipping downward at the moment, too. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. I'm beyond excited to be able to share this news report with our viewers, Liz. Car inventory is right on track to hit the 2 million level that we've been predicting for June. Yes, and it's getting better by the day. And two great sources were out with this info in recent days. As both Automotive News and Black Book are reporting, inventory levels of new vehicles continued their long, slow rise last month to reach 1.89 million, their highest level since May 2021. That's right. After reporting on it every month over the end of the year, the inventory report suddenly just stopped. It's like they didn't want consumers to know that the <laughs> wait would be worth it. Sure. So as Liz said, and according to data compiled by Cox Automotive and the Automotive News Research and Data Center, new vehicle inventories rose slightly last month to their highest point in nearly two years as production constraints continue to ease everywhere. Of course, as we've been saying, there's some sandbagging going on with some of the car makers. Like Toyota. Yes, like Toyota. Cox's most recent overall estimate of the U.S. inventory is sitting at 1,893,855 vehicles, a 56-day supply. That's incredible. That's up from 1,828,290 in the previous month, and about 70% above where inventory was a year earlier. Still, it remains down roughly 540,000 vehicles compared with the same point in 2021, a time when inventories began shrinking quickly. How do they come up with the number of days supply figures? Cox computes days supply based on the selling rate of the previous 30-day period. And here's a few more details. Cox said midsize, compact, and subcompact cars continue to have the tightest supplies among volume segments with full-size cars and full-size pickups had the highest day supply among non-luxury vehicles. Sure. Pretty simple as to why that's the case. The shortage in supplies pushed manufacturers to focus on bigger, more expensive vehicles. The smaller, more economical vehicles kind of got left in the dust, and it's a situation that won't quickly reverse itself. Interestingly, inventory levels for Detroit's three brands were returning to pre-pandemic levels. Ram, Jeep, Chrysler, and Buick had more than 100 days supply on hand. That's huge. Jaguar was another brand to top the 100-day mark, Cox said. Can you believe that? How does any one manufacturer get totally caught up while the others are still lagging behind? It's just that Ram, Jeep, Chrysler, and Buick don't have a reason to sandbag, that's why. <laughs> At a nameplate level, Cox noted that supplies of Detroit's big three full-size pickups we're all in excess of 80 days with Ram topping the list at 105 day supply. Wow. Be on the watch for Ram truck rebates everywhere and actually also for Ford and Chevy too. Yep. On the other end of the spectrum in the sandbagger category, mm -hmm. 16 of the 17 top selling nameplates having the fewest cars in inventory belonged to Asian brands with the only exception being the Ford Bronco. Ah, yes, the Asian brands of the seven automakers that continue to report monthly sales and inventory. Three saw their day supply estimates rise last month. Three saw a slight decline, and Subaru stayed flat for a second consecutive month. Ford Motor Company remained the day supply leader among reporting automakers, crossing over the two-month threshold. On the used car side, Black Book reports that auctioneers are having to work a little harder to get bidders in the game with many lanes having less bidders turning into their sales. So enthusiasm by dealers for buying overpriced cars at the auction right now is slipping. But no, this is not one of the common, the bubble is bursting, clickbait report like other YouTubers are infamous for. Used car prices are falling slightly, but don't get too excited. Take a good look at the next chart. It's a report put together by BlackBook and shows the pricing data for cars since 2019, the year before the pandemic. Back with more analysis on this report right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, Check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Note that as 2021 came to an end, the retail listing price index closed 36% above where they began last year. That was the worst year in the inflationary car market. The index then remained relatively stagnant through most of 2022. 
In the fourth quarter of 2022, the retail listings price index declines had already started but were not as steep as the wholesale price index. This quite clearly points to the fact that tracking wholesale car prices isn't necessarily valid when it comes to the actual retail prices of cars. This analysis by Black Book is based on approximately 2 million vehicles listed for sale on U.S. dealer lots. The graph looks at two to six year old vehicles. The index is computed keeping the average age of the mix constant at the two to six year old vehicle line sure. to accurately identify market movements. I think it's one of the best tracking methods used in the market today. Take a close look at the 2023 line, which is the line with the dots. In weeks four through eight of this year, those numbers were lower than other years reported. Weeks 10 through 15 have been on the rise, but still lower than the 2021, which is the blue line on the top. In the fall of 2022, we reported that prices were dropping into the end of the year, and you can see here that this is definitely the case. Of the five years being tracked here, 2022 was the only year to finish lower than where it started, and we think here in 2023 that this year could be the same case too. Yeah. Based on all cars, new and used are likely to be much lower in the not distant future. Black Book reports that auction conversion rates dropped slightly for the third straight week, and, and with prices reporting a slowing in the rate of increase, it leaves us wondering if the spring market is finally starting to come to an end. That old tax season phenomena. That said, the general mood from those we've talked to said that we still have weeks of price increases ahead of us as higher price inventory flushes out of dealer stock. If I were any of you, I'd be letting somebody else suffer with paying overpriced inventory and be poised and ready for when the real market values take hold. Hopefully today's show added to your optimism that a better car deal for all car shoppers is waiting just around the corner. If you can wait, you definitely should. We've maintained for months that the best indicator that the overall market is repairing itself is the growth of new car inventory. And as we can see right from the numbers right now, we're right on track to hit the 2 million mark we predicted for June. And as you can also see that with all the excitement coming over the announcement of an all new car buying opportunity for a hassle-free way of buying cars, Featured on this show, three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car. That you should subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future THG announcements. If you'd like to be on the list to be notified when our new car buying process goes live, email us at the contact email listed here or text to the number 701-441-3399. And since we are putting that database together right now after thousands of positive responses from interested viewers, Please include in your email or text your first name, the state you're in for strategic geographic reasons, right. and the brand and model of car you're interested in. It all helps us to zero in on the specific states and brands that viewers are interested in. If you already messaged us, we will message you back requesting this info. So don't worry about it if you already contacted us. There's a lot that goes into making something this big take off right with as few hiccups as possible. And you telling us a brand of car in what state you're in will go into our strategic plan for states and car types to open with first. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with the Homework Guide team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what to be aware of and things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguide.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered right on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love with even a small tip at any of the links you can find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone. We appreciate everything you do for us. All right. If you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said, and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on the announcement of our all new car buying process. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Friends, we are onboarding new subscribers at a very rapid pace and as a result of our overwhelming positive response to our announcement of the soon to be here new car buyers hassle free way of car shopping. If you're one of our newest subscribers, welcome to the Homer Guide team. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. And soon enough, we'll be announcing the launch of an all new way of buying cars. Text or email us to get on the list to be notified when it goes live. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.